excited today to bring to you the information and market report on Paso Robles, California, located in San Luis Obispo County. Paso, if you will, is kind of a gateway to the Central Coast. If you're coming from Fresno or from up north along Highway 101, that's going to take you into Paso Robles, and that can take you from there. You can get to the coast, Cambria, Morro Bay, Hearst Castle, down to Pismo Beach, San Luis Obispo. All of these all come through Paso Robles. But to live in Paso Robles, what does it cost to live there today? What's new on the market? What is the current market? Let's get right into that today. Thanks for joining us today. If you like what you're seeing today while I'm getting the screen ready, be sure to hit the like button below, um, subscribe, like and subscribe, if you will, to the channel as well. And that will get you to the uh, to my information. If you ever need anything, just go ahead and DM me, uh, message me direct with any questions you might have. Feel free to do that too. So here's the market report for Paso Robles. Um, you can see Paso is located, just real quick, is located about 40 minutes north of San Luis Obispo and about 45 minutes south of King City. So nice location, definitely wine country. You've got the uh, the annual fair that goes on, the famous Paso Robles Fair. Got to attend that. There's always great concerts, great events that go on there, but not to mention all the wine country and wine tours that you can enjoy as well. But as far as the market goes, what will a home cost me in Paso? and what's going on with the market today. So homes for sale right now uh, are 212 that have been on the market in the last 30 days or have come on the market. That's actually gone down just a little bit. So we haven't seen as much volume in the last month of homes coming on the market. We have had 23 new homes come on. So that has, like I said, been a little less than we anticipated or what we would have expected based on what happened a month ago. The average days on market for homes, as you can see here, is 55 days on the market. So we're seeing a little bit of an uptick in how long things are taking to sell. Could be because some sellers are getting a little aggressive on pricing, and that tends to push a house out a little longer on the market. So if you're thinking of selling, always talk to your realtor about strategies on how to price uh, based on what's going on today. So uh, and feel free to click on this market report to keep updated. I do update this link that you will see in the comments. I update it live every day, so you'll be able to get that information uh, up to the moment. So average prices on homes in Paso in the last 30 days, this is based on uh, what's available right now, yeah, is $1.2 million. So $1,251,000 for a home in Paso based on what we're seeing available. If you want to go buy one today, that's about what you're looking at. We are seeing some softening. We've seen a, quite a few more price reductions. We've seen 26, according to the numbers here, in the last 30 days that we found. And that's actually an increase in price reduction. So again, like I mentioned earlier, we've had just a little bit of aggressive pricing probably by some sellers, and that's led to a little slowdown in the market. So interest rates are floating down below on the screen there uh, that you can see updates on where the, the rates are today. And that kind of tells you a story the rates have been staying about the same for most of the year, and that has held some buyers back, anticipating these rate changes we keep hearing about, but we're not seeing. So uh, I wouldn't wait for them myself, personally. That would be my suggestion, and I say that based on the reports that are coming out. So the reports are showing us that um, they're considering rate cuts, but they're really holding back because inflation keeps holding steady and it's just not coming down. So they don't want to drop rates to create that craziness with inflation. Anyway, that's the uh, interest rate report, I guess. <laughs> We're squeezing in here too. Uh, average sold price. So of the homes that sold in the last 30 days, we had about 36 homes sell in the last 30 days. So that's been, again, a fewer number of homes and fewer number, few amount, lesser amount of activity in Paso in the last month or so. And the average price of those homes that have sold has been $795,000. So why is there a difference between what's on the market and what's selling? Well, obviously what's selling is in the lower price points, so making it much more affordable. But what's on the market is we do have a lot of high priced homes on the market that are pushing the average home price up today in Paso. So that's kind of why you're seeing that difference there. But of the homes that have sold, 36 homes sold, and they sold for $795,000. That's about four or 5% higher than a month ago. But uh, overall, there's been about an 18% in the number of homes that have sold We've seen a decrease in that because again we just don't have as many homes going into contract because of those higher rates is what what my theory is on that um so let's go ahead and now get into kind of the fun part of this 
uh, we take a look at what has currently come on the market, what's new, and what has recently sold. So we see a couple on the left here, some recent listings. We have this $450,000 home. So this is one of our lower priced homes uh, that's just come on the market. Let's go ahead and click on that real quick for you. Don't mean to take up a little more time, but it is good to look at uh, what's going on there. So this is a 55 and over community. It's listed by uh, Chrissy Belisario. And you can see it's 450,000 for a two bedroom, two bath. That's probably gonna be one of your most affordable priced homes. We'll get into another popular one here in a minute. And then this one on Shannon Hill Drive. This is a beautiful home at 1,150,000. This is about what your average home that you're gonna be seeing out there is. Uh, this one here is a three bedroom, two and a half bath uh, on 0.46 acres is what I was looking at, uh, but that's that's actually uh, the 4.6 acres. It's just under a half acre, 2,300 square foot home. So really nice location and a really nice home in a beautiful community there. And as far as what has sold recently, as far as solds, we've had a couple of large solds and these probably are what uh, brought the average up a little bit, but these are nice solds, 2,100,000, this one on 1150 Ladera Lane. And another sale on 800 Vista Cerro here, and that was for 1325000 So just to give you an idea of some of the activity going on in Paso there. And then we have a couple of popular listings as we wrap this up is we have uh, this tiny home here out by the lake, uh, $240,000. And I think this is just a couple hundred square feet um, out and gets you a lot out by the lake. So nice vacation home or if you want to work from home. And want to get super affordable and be on the central coast this is it and then we have this beautiful one on heron lane these are these are popular so i thought i'd highlight these they're getting a lot of activity and traffic so one 1 1.2 million or just under 1.3 million is this one on 3170 heron lane another beautiful home there but what is the most expensive home in paso robles today let's take a look at this one this is uh, 615 Camino Vina in Paso, and this is a really beautiful estate. So it's located on 130 acres. It's what it's situated on. This is a 7,200 square foot home. So this gives you an idea if you're looking for a luxury estate, uh, this is one to look at and take a take a nice tour of if you're looking for that private corporate getaway and or looking for just a nice estate home to add. So anyway, if you have any questions about any of the information we discussed here today, feel free to reach out. And thank you for visiting today. And if you have any questions, like I said, uh, you can DM me. The link to this information will be down below as well. And uh, if you have uh, some time or you need, you need to take a tour of any of these homes, or if you just want to talk about listing your home, go ahead and DM me as well. Or you can download the market report and just click within there or visit my website to schedule an appointment directly with me. So thanks again for visiting today. Hope you enjoyed that.